Now, I don't normally shoot from the airport, but I'm making an exception today because it's a pretty cool new feature update that was just announced, or rather dropped, to Garmin's public beta program for the Phoenix 7, the Epix, the Quadic series. I'll put all the watches on the screen right now. But fear not, if you have other watches, it's coming to those watches too, and I'll explain that in just a second. Uh, so this update adds 15 new features. And the reason I wanted to shoot at the airport is because I wanted time to get into run this morning to test one of those new features out. Oh, and I do want to apologize for talking fast here, uh, but I've got to run like literally to catch my flight. But I wanted to get this video to you and some of my initial impressions on this uh, before I jump on a transatlantic flight. Now, since they don't have a lot of time, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm just going to run through these new features and explain what they are. I'll put the list right here or something like that. Uh, the first one is they add some new activities. They add anchor, sail, sail race, stuff that I don't really care about, but that's fine. Uh, they add auto rest for the ultra run. This was announced back on the Garmin Enduro 2 back in August sometime. Uh, and now it's nice to see it here on the Phoenix lineup as well. Uh, they've also added the backcountry snowboard activity, they've added disc golf, they've added golf scoring, and they've added grade adjusted pace for running. Uh, so what this basically does is similar to what you may have seen on Training Peaks and other platforms over the years, uh, and it automatically shows you what your pace would be uh, if it were flat ground, but while you're running on inclines and declines. And again, something they uh, released with the Enduro 2 this past summer, uh, and it's nice to see it on these watches as well. A very minor one, they've added haptics to more scrolling places. They've added the morning report, and I actually uh, updated before I went to sleep last night to show you this, but I pressed the wrong buttons and got the screen away before I got to take a picture. But here's what it looks like on the 41955. This is probably one of the biggest features people have been waiting for, aside from what I'm going to talk about in just a second. The one difference, though, between the morning report on the 955 and the 255 compared to right now in the Phoenix is you can't quite customize it yet. Uh, and there's also some like nuanced difference in terms of usability, hence why I canceled out before I could take a picture. I thought I can get back to that screen take a picture but you can't on these watches uh, i'm sure those things will all get worked out in the beta program so don't worry too much about that right now they've added nautical units uh, for boat sail and sail race and they've added the next fork option again another enduro 2 feature that came this past summer uh, what it essentially does is when you're on a trail without any routes loaded at all uh, it'll show you how long until that trail ends or basically becomes a junction point so how long until that next fork uh, happens super super useful even if you have routes it's useful to know when that next junction point is just so you can be paying attention so you don't possibly miss it after that you've got reference point add as a hotkey option add a support for armenian characters add a support for heart rate chest strap and yoga uh breath work and health shop added tides glances and then the biggie added wrist-based running support. Uh, so no longer do you have to have a sensor. You no longer have to have the HRM Pro, the HRM Run, HRM Try, the RD Pod. You can just use the watch itself, one of these watches, uh, straight up to get running power into the watch. Uh, and that's what I wanted to test this morning. I went out and did that, and I'm gonna do a whole separate video on that later on today after I land uh, with another route with some more hills and stuff like that. But at a glance, I would say the data looked very, very similar side by side. I was also wearing a uh, Garmin chest strap on another watch so I could see how that data compared. Uh, and it looks pretty much the same. I actually saw that the uh, Epix in my case, but the same thing here, the wrist-based running power from Garmin was reacting slightly faster. Like when I would stop, it would be about two seconds faster to stop than the strap-based one, uh, but all things that are like nuanced type stuff. Uh, and this one here, this update will also be coming to the 4Runner series, in particular the 4Runner 255 series, the 4Runner 955 series, and the 4Runner 945 LTE. Uh, the exact time frames aren't quite nailed down yet for all those things. It sounds like though that for the 255 and the 9 55 that'll be like on the order of days or weeks at the latest uh, and then in the case of 945 LTE the time frame is a little bit fuzzier because they have to get carrier certification because it's an LTE watch and all that kind of stuff so uh, even for the beta drops it has to be pre-validated ahead of time uh, in any case all that stuff is available today again in the alpha program so you got to download it to your watch it will not show up automatically I'll put a link down to that in the description there I've got a video up in the corner on how the alpha program works uh, give it a whirl try it out and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments and then of course stay tuned for the video later on today where I'll do all the deep dive comparison between the power um, of not just this watch here but also the Stride, Apple Watch Ultra, etc. and see how that stuff looks. Anyways, thanks for watching. I've got to run and catch my flight. For reals, I've got to go really quickly here. Uh, but if you found this video interesting or useful, go ahead and whack that like button at the bottom there or hit subscribe for plenty more sports technology goodness or there's also a new members option on YouTube as well. You can join there for some uh, goodies as well. Have a good one.